Did you ever wonder if there was a specific way to find any type of product that you're looking for profitable? Well, there actually is. And what I mean by this is let's say you're looking for a product that's in the makeup category. You can do this with the Keepa product finder. All you have to do is set the right filters and then you'll have a list of profitable products spit out that you can then find profitable on the website using coupon codes and discounts. In this video, I'm gonna break down the exact filters that you need to put in for this search so you can find any type of product that you want with the Keepa product finder and then find it profitably. That being said, let's get into the video so you can see exactly how this works and then find hundreds, if not thousands of profitable products. And as always, if you got value, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Well, let's get into it. So I'm gonna show you how to set up this subcategory search with the Keepa Product Finder. Now it's pretty simple. And this is a way that you can use the Keepa Product Finder without actually reverse sourcing any sellers. So it can actually help you find good sellers to reverse source by doing this method and it can also help you find really good products to sell on Amazon. So we're gonna first and foremost, you can play around with the 30 day or the 90 day in terms of sales rank. Let's say we're looking for a 90 day of above 120,000. This gives us around 100 sales per month, depending on the category we choose. Uh, if it's like health and beauty or health and household, like that's 120 is about 100 sales a month. So then we're going to, you can also go to the buy box price. Let's say you don't want to sell cheaper items. I like to stay away from cheaper items because I have a prep center. So I can also do something like this. And a prep center just means that they fulfill my inventory and then ship it to Amazon for me. But let's say I'm setting a current price of 20 to 200. So I'm like setting a tight gap in price. And let's say we want to get, we don't want to deal with Amazon on the listing. We don't want to compete with them, even though you can, it's just harder to compete with them. So that gets a lot of listings off the table too. And let's scroll down. And then this is one of the more important things we want to do for this search is in the title brand and more, there's root category and there's a subcategory. So we are going to mess around with the subcategories in this video. So we can do this with any subcategory we choose. I'm going to show two different examples. So I'm going to show clothing shoes and jewelry. So let's say we only wanted to look for socks, for example. If we only want to find socks on on Amazon. We can scroll down and there is a subcategory specifically for socks. As you can see, there's different subcategories. It goes from sports specific clothing. We want to look for like accessory type of socks. So we want ones with the higher, it looks like right here, you can kind of see there is 80,000 results right here say we're looking for the compression socks or as well. So we're doing a subcategory. We've got three different subcategories. If you keep typing in socks or that type of thing, we don't want to do like the skiing. We want like a little bit more broad in terms of stuff like that. It's got some like hiking socks. So if we get like no show, like you can include a bunch of different, oh, sorry, that was a text field. Let's say we want a bunch of different sock categories. We can do that like with this. So let's say we're looking for these different subcategories and we're also going to look for listings that are definitely arbitrageable. So we want to find listings that have around like seven or eight sellers or so minimum. So then right away you see it goes down to 98. And if you wanted to get these results to go down a little bit, you can put this up to like 10 or so. So now there's 74 products here. And you can also put like, let's say we're only looking for Nike socks, for example, you can hit Nike. So actually most of this results are Nike socks. So if you're looking to source like Nike or something like that, this is a really good way to do this. You'll find a bunch of different ASINs that are essentially profitable. It looks like we got some compression shorts in here as well. So we got some socks and compression shorts on this search. So these are a bunch of different listings that can potentially be profitable here as you can see we can see the seller count is around 20 to 30 so this definitely gives me an idea that these are probably arbitrageable products and we can kind of play around with it and try to find it profitably on the website so let's say we we'd go through these one by one essentially and we'd pick them out so we're going to go to google here 
we're going to look for these specific shorts on discount. And that's basically how we'd go about getting these profitable. So I know Nike runs some type of sales where it gets down to like 20 to $24 or so. So that could be a place where you could get it. They could also mark down specific styles. Like this is the black on black one, which is actually 30, but oh no, it's out of white. It's this one right here. So we'd ideally want like a 25% code. If we could get that 25% code, it looks like this was found for 1648 in my seller amp in July of 2023. So it's possible that this goes on sale on a different website. So essentially what you'd be doing though is setting different subcategories that you are interested in. Like if you're interested in socks or shorts or apparel, or you're interested in, in women's makeup or something like that, you can do different subcategories and you can get very granular on what you're looking for. And you can actually find a lot of products that you can potentially sell on Amazon with this search. And one of the search I'm going to run for you guys, I'm going to keep the same filters. I'm just going to clear all the subcategories just to show you that you can do this with multiple different categories. So let's say we're looking for eyeliners, for example. Looks like there was an eyeliner right there. So we can only look up eyeliners if we wanted to. You can do one search for eyeliner. You could do one search for lipstick. One search for, yeah, pretty much anything. That's why it's so cool that you can really just get granular. And then it's going to also help you find out what brands sell really well on Amazon. And you can also take it a step further and then put that brand as the filter. So let's say like, I don't know, like we are looking for Revlon or something like that. It's probably not going to come up in this search. There's only one Revlon product, but if let's say there was 10 of them in this search and we kept seeing a repeated pattern, we can filter them out to only get that brand and then try to tackle them all. Or we found some kind of loop in a website. Like yesterday I found an employee discount, which was getting like 40% off on everything. That's like a loop with one brand that can make me a ton of money. If I find all the ASINs that I can get profitably for that. So that's like an essentially is like what a loop means, but that's where inputting the specific brand comes in. But if you don't know specific brands, this will help you get there. So Basically, you can kind of see all these are arbitrageable brands. We have Laura Mercier, we have Huda Beauty, Rare Beauty, Chanel, Charlotte Tilbury, Mac Cosmetics, Smashbox, Thrive Cosmetics. Now it's pulling up a bunch of different arbitrageable products here. We could go through these all one by one and essentially find them profitably with coupon codes, you know, special discounts, sales, stuff like that. Uh, maybe they have like a buy one, get one type of deal. So that's essentially what you'd be doing. And if you want to see more about that process, I have 20 minute long sourcing videos on this channel. Definitely check out those other ones. But this purpose of this video was to just show you exactly how to format these searches and whatever subcategory you choose, you can play around with it and it can give you totally different results. And you can maybe make a list of different subcategories. Like we have lipstick right here, 109 products in the lipstick category. This is a game changer guys. If you're not using this method, you're definitely falling behind because this is going to help you find a lot of profitable products, in my opinion, and at least just find you some sellers that you can reverse source and, you know, common trends in terms of what products do well for arbitrage. And obviously you can play around with these filters if you'd like. You can change up the offer count to maybe seven or eight. If you wanted to, that'll give you a little bit more results. But this is a really, really tactical tool to use with the product finder. I hope you guys get some value from this video. And as always, if you did, drop a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.